it's time to implement the authorization checks on the backend side that is on the controllers and request classes and in the further videos we'll work on implementing those checks in the front end side so before doing that what i want to cover here is in the request in the middleware what we are doing is we are grabbing the user so if we are okay let's try to log out once then as you can see we get an error that call to a member function load missing on nulls so at this point we don't have the request user anymore so to fix that what we can do is we can pass in the null parameter if this value is null then this won't be executed so this should fix the error and let's try to reload then that error is now fixed so let's log in and now try to implement the auth check so let's start with the controllers so here what we are going to do is we are going to pass in the this authorize method and then we can pass the permission name so in this case for the index what we have defined is we have defined a student access okay let's check it out from the permission table seeder and yep that's the student access and now when we pass this only if the user has the proper authorization for this name only then they will be allowed to access the page or they will be allowed to view the student's record so let's save this and go ahead and click on the student's link and for now uh, what we are doing is we are logging in through the admin pro profile and this user has access to all of the resources in our system so that's the reason this thing is working so let's go ahead and implement the same for other functions as well so i'll just okay maybe we can use github copilot for this so for uh, this create method the name is student create and the same for store method as well okay it didn't work out so i'll just copy this and paste that in here work on the edit page student edit student update is also going to be edit and last one is the destroy so this is student delete so that's done and let's also do the same for the role controller and here it's going to be role access and what we can do also do is here we can instead of passing in the this authorize we can also do abort if and then get denies so this index can also be used it's all up to you how you, how you want to do it this authorize is simple and readable as well so that's the reason i'm using that so role create and for the store we can also use the same and for the edit we can use role edit for the update we can also use role edit and for the destroy we can use role delete so that's done on the controller side we also need to implement the same for the request classes that i mentioned earlier so let's test this out and then we'll implement that so every page should work for this user because this user has all the permissions so the pages can be viewed as expected and next thing that we want to do here is implement the same for the request classes okay before starting one thing that i want to mention here is uh, for some reason the recording after this part got muted so i have to redo this thing so you might see some files being changed so you can ignore that and we'll work on this remaining part so to implement the authorize and checks let's go to one of the request classes and here so instead of passing in the default true what we are going to do is we are going to use the gate allows function and then so for this part since we are storing the request we will be passing in role create and we can import the gate facade so that's inside illuminate support facades let's import that and let's see i'll just copy this and we can test out how github copilot will suggest this code so inside update role request we can do the same so instead of return true we can okay i think i did copy the return part so return git allows facades and this is update okay edit yep that's good 
so that's done and everything else looks good and okay what else do we have inside okay we also have a destroy role request so we can override this as well gate allows okay i think i imported the wrong class so this is gate from the facades and i'm not really sure what did i call this role delete or destroy okay let's check it out so permission stable okay we have the delete naming convention so that looks fine and what else do we have okay one thing that i also want to do here is just to give you a brief idea so we have implemented the table class so we can actually implement the authorize and checks in there as well so let's go to the students table and here we have an authorize and check function provided to us so what we can do here is a simple a general use case would be to create a gate allows check in here so i'll just write that and what we can do is student student access and we can implement the same inside the roles as well so instead of student this is gonna be role and let's also import that that looks good and everything else looks good so let's test this out and this should work okay so now currently i am logged in as admin so i can add the user i can delete them i can edit okay the front end part is not yet implemented but the back end is so we can actually log out and then log in with the less permission user we have user at the rate user.com let's log in and okay let's see where have we implemented this okay, we can create the student so now as you can see we can't view that page so this action so this thing is actually working on the okay so we are displaying that form and okay, let's go to this student controller and okay we have create store so okay yeah that thing so this authorized student create so this thing is now being applied and is checking for the proper authorization so this thing is working from the back end so now we uh, what we also need to do is we need to implement that on the front end so we don't want uh, to let the any unauthorized users to see the ui parts as well so we'll do that in the next part